hello everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel today I'll be showing you how I make my duff this one actually have a little twist because I'll be stuffing my duff so I call it the crave cook stuff duff guys this is so beautiful so delicious like you guys just have to try this recipe okay if y'all are new to my channel and have not yet subscribed would you please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below like this video share this video and also comment all right I would also um, like you guys to tag me if you make this one please let me know so without further ado let's jump right into this video so to my flour I'll be adding some sugar cinnamon and nutmeg baking powder baking soda and we'll go in and whisk this together make sure everything is really well combined then i'll go in with some room temperature salted butter and we'll rub the butter in the flour now i'll go in with my milk and water mixture all right we will knead this make sure the flour actually comes together you don't want to overwork the flour the dough actually so we're going to knead it for about two minutes just like that and now it's time for us to stuff our duff so that is the duff there I'll be rolling it out and I'll be stuffing it with my salted cod I'll also leave the recipe for the salted cod I did in the description box as well so duff is not in Guyana well it's eaten with it's a part of the recipe I should say for metamji so that is exactly what I was making and guys OMG if you guys love chicken and dumpling you would fall in love with this metamji recipe all right so I also leave the link to that in this the, in the description box also so you stuff that and you roll it just like that and you do that for the rest of the duff you pull it out like that you form a little well in the center and you place the salt fish inside inside the center you close that up you pinch it over like that and then you run it out and you roll it in your hand in your hands All right. just like that and we'll do that for the rest and that is what it looks like before we place it in the pot with the coconut milk and the provision and the seasoning it is absolutely amazing so right in the pot here I did remove a few of my sweet potatoes so I can have room to put my duff in it can submerge some and then we'll let this we'll cover actually and let this cook for about 10 minutes and this is what it looks like when it's done we'll remove and garnish and serve and that is it guys looks amazing the duff is fluffy and spongy it cooks in that really rich creamy coconut broth and there it is our amazing soft mouth in your mouth stuffed duff or you can omit the salt fish and you can just roll the duff like that and you can cook it but that's the way it's usually done but i just decided to put a little twist to it all right, thank you guys so much. Do enjoy. Bye-bye. 